What's going on guys? Phil here with King and Wintech Racing. And today I'm gonna to show you how to measure the length and width of your bolts. Now there's a couple ways to do this. First of which you can use a tape measure with centimeters and millimeters on it. You could also use one of these uh, bolt measuring tools. You can get at Home Depot, or you can use a caliper like this one. And all of them will give you pretty accurate measurements. So here we have our bolt and we'll measure with the tape measure first. For the length, just measure to the bottom of the flange, which in this case comes out to about 50 millimeters. For the width, get the flange on top of the tape measure and line it up with the end. In this case, we get about six millimeters. Next, we use the bolt measuring tool. For the width, there are several slots you can put the bolt through. Now you'll know you have the right one when it doesn't wiggle around too much like this. So we'll just move it over to the M6 slot to see if it fits better. And it looks like it does. So that'll tell you it's an M6 bolt, which is about a six millimeter width. For the length, just move the bolt off to the side of the tool and use the built-in ruler lining up the bolt flange on top of the small opening as seen here. In this case, it comes out to the same 50 millimeters as before. Finally, the caliper will give you the most accurate measurements out of all three tools. For the length, slide open the jaws and position the bolt between them. Once in place, slide the jaws back together and look at the reading on the built-in screen. In this case, it comes out to an exact 52.6 millimeters. For the width, Flip the bolt around and close the jaws over it again, like so. Take a look at the screen again, and we get an exact 5.92 millimeters. All right, guys, that's it for taking measurements for your length and width of bolts. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and to keep up with all things King and Wintech. Thanks for watching.